All right, I'm gonna show you how we rhodium plate, but first it's important to know why we rhodium plate, and it has to go with the composition of the metal. All right, if you look right here, 24 karat. Well, first thing, let's back up just a little bit, reduce everything to little BBs, okay? All of the metal that's gonna be used in here, whether it's an alloy or gold, just think of it as a BB. So before you can melt anything down, you have to have 24 BBs in the crucible to melt down. If you have 24 solid gold BBs and you melt them down, you have 24 karat gold. But if you wanna make 18 karat gold, you will have 18 BBs that are 24 karat and six BBs of an alloy. Depends on if it's white gold, yellow gold, rose gold, green gold, whatever, but 18 plus six equals 24, but that will give you 18 karat because you've got 18 24 karat BBs, six of something else, gives you 18 karat. So the most common we work with is 14 karat. So now you're gonna have 24, or excuse me, 14 24 karat BBs. You're gonna have 10 BBs of, for the most part, we're gonna call it nickel because we're doing white gold. 14 plus 10 equals 24, but that also equals, that will equal 14 karat white gold. All right, so hold the fort. All right, sorry, I had to answer the phone. Okay, so once again, this is what we're dealing with today is 14 karat. So once again, in a little crucible dish with little BBs, it always has to equal 24. So we have 14 very yellow BBs because they're 24 karat gold, and we're gonna have 10 white BBs, and it's gonna be nickel or something like that. You mix it all together, and so you'll have 24 BBs, and it, because it's 14 parts gold, 10 parts alloy, you have 14 karat white gold. But if you have 14 very yellow BBs and 10 very white BBs, you mix it all together, you have a white metal that's not really very white because it's 14 parts yellow, 10 parts white. So 14 karat gold will have a yellowish tint to it. So here is how we compensate for that with rhodium. So I'm gonna show you how we actually do a rhodium plating. This is a 14 karat white gold wedding set that we did some work on and I can see the yellowish tint to it. So we're gonna rhodium plate it. Rhodium is a pure white metal in the platinum family. And so what it's gonna do is plate this mostly white metal bright white. It just gives it a better look. So here's how we're going to do it. We're going to start with a heated solution of an electro cleaner and some electronic magic. And I guess it wouldn't hurt if I reached over and turned it on. Here we go. Now watch this. Should start to agitate. I guess it probably also wouldn't hurt if I turned it to the right. Here we go. Watch this. There's what I'm looking for. See it bubbling? What this is doing is cleaning this ring at the molecular level. You can't really tell, but it's super clean now. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this ring that's been electro cleaned and we're gonna put it in the rhodium solution. And Anna, see if you can get a shot of that agitation. So we'll just wiggle it around, agitate it in the solution. And then when I pull it out, it's bright white. It just so happens here in a second, I've got a real treat for you to show you something we very seldom do is we're gonna plate a yellow gold ring white and you can really see how this works. So give me a second to set up for it. Now here's a ring that's yellow gold and I don't recommend doing this, but you know, sometimes you just got to do what somebody wants. They want this to be white and it will not be white. It will just be white plated. But now watch how rhodium works here. Let's just agitate this a little bit. Let me get it started. See it starting to no longer be yellow. 
Let's keep going. Actually, let's give it a little more juice here. Let's see what we got here. Look at that, no longer yellow. <laughs> 